and it is shut down. It's been shut down throughout most of the day today, and you can see that the Sheriff's Department is redirecting traffic after that avalanche on Highway 91 buried multiple cars, and I can tell you even driving into Leadville last night, Highway 91 was extremely treacherous, so I can't even imagine what it was like today, but you know, we woke up to a lot of snow here and high mountain passes and highways shut down. Scraping, digging, stranded. Because nobody can go anywhere. Video shows the aftermath of an avalanche on Vail Pass early Thursday morning. We're going to have a pretty challenging day again on I-70. The first in a long list of closures along the I-70 corridor on Vail Pass near the tunnel and everywhere in between. And tonight, the avalanche risk remains extreme with heavy wet snow on top of more snow. Yeah, we got probably 24 inches of snow. I bet it was a, a good 19 inches, maybe 20 inches of snow. Snow so deep, you need a shovel just to find your car. I went to the wrong car the first time. Same make model. Check the license plate. <laughs> license plate wasn't mine. If you can find your car. One semi spent more than three hours. He couldn't get the traction going up that hill. Trying to get out of this parking lot. He's got it. Yeah. You would think it's perfect weather to train snowcat operators like the group we found at this hotel. Uh, what happened instead was roads started to close after we got, uh, what, about a foot of snow? <laughs> you know, we have to transport the trucks and the trailers and the snowcats out to the training site. And we're just being cautious about it, taking our time. What else can you do when you're at the mercy of mountain snow? Well, it's Colorado. It happens. It's Colorado, but this is indeed historic. You can see traffic backing up a little bit here as some cars are turning around trying to find an alternate route. But, you know, I think the quote that sums up today best is from the Colorado Avalanche Information Center, and they basically said that they don't think anyone who's alive has seen a week quite like this. Reporting live in Leadville, Liz Gillardi, Denver South.